Have you ever stopped to wonder what year would it be if we never reformed our calendars? Picture it. The sun sets and rises, the moon waxes and wanes, and the seasons change. This cyclical dance of celestial bodies is the very essence of time, and our calendars are a human-made system to track it. Today we live by the Gregorian calendar, which has become the widely accepted standard for marking the passage of days, months, and years. But it wasn't always this way. The Gregorian calendar is a product of painstaking reforms, a patchwork of changes and adjustments made over centuries. One of the most notable is the Julian calendar, introduced by none other than Julius Caesar. And let's not forget Emperor Augustus, who decided to add two whole months to our year. So the big question is, what if these reforms never happened? To tackle this question, we first need to understand a few key points about these calendar systems. Let's start with the length of the year. The pre-Julian calendar, used by the Romans before Julius Caesar's reform, had a year that was only 304 days long. Then came the Julian calendar, introduced by Julius Caesar himself in 45 BC. This calendar extended the year to 365 days and introduced the concept of a leap year every four years. Fast forward to 1582 and we have the Gregorian calendar introduced by Pope Gregory XIII. This calendar kept the year at 365 days, but tweaked the leap year rule. Now, a year is a leap year if it's divisible by 4, unless it's divisible by 100. However, if that year is also divisible by 400, it is still a leap year. Confused yet? Don't worry, the key takeaway is that these changes were made to keep our calendar in alignment with the Earth's revolutions around the Sun. Next, let's consider when the year started. In Roman times, the year began on the 1st of March. But with the Julian and Gregorian reforms, the start of the year moved to the 1st of January. And finally, we must remember the key historical events that affected these calendars. 45 BC saw the introduction of the Julian calendar. 8 BC added the months of July and August, thanks to Emperor Augustus. And the Gregorian calendar was introduced in 1582. With these facts in mind, we can start calculating. Keep in mind that this is a hypothetical exercise, as there are many other factors and historical events that could influence the real date but it's a fun way to explore the fascinating history of our calendar and the way we perceive time. So let's crunch some numbers and see what we find. Imagine a world where Julius Caesar never introduced the Julian calendar in 45 BC and Pope Gregory III never introduced the Gregorian calendar in 1582. What would our date look like today? First, we need to calculate the number of days since the introduction of the Julian calendar. We have 2024 20, years minus the, the 45 years before Christ, giving us 1979 years. Multiply that by the number of days in a year, 365, and we get a whopping 721,365 days. But we also need to consider the additional days added by the Julian and Gregorian reforms. The Julian reform added an extra day every four years for a total of 46 additional days. The Gregorian reform added an extra day every four years, except for years divisible by 100 but not 400, giving us an additional 442 days. Adding those together, we get 488 extra days. So let's add those days to our original count. January 1st, 45 BC plus our 721,365 days, plus our 488 extra days, gives us, drum roll please, 
December 24th, 2512 in the Julian calendar. But what about the pre-Julian calendar, which started the year on March 1st? Adding the total number of days since March 1st, 45 BC, we get the date of February 25th, 2580. Yes, you heard that right. We would be living in the year 2580. Now, these numbers are estimates and don't take into account all the historical events and calendar adjustments over the centuries. And using a pre-Julian calendar today would result in a significant misalignment with the seasons and other calendar events. But it does provide a fascinating glimpse into the what if of our calendar history. So, there you have it. If no calendar reforms ever took place, today's date would be quite different. It's important to note a couple of things. Our calculations are just estimates and don't account for all historical events and calendar adjustments. Ooh. If we were to use a pre-Julian calendar today, it would result in a significant misalignment with seasons and other calendar events. It's a fascinating thought experiment, but in practice, our modern calendar serves us well. And that concludes our journey into the real calendar date. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the history of timekeeping, don't forget to like and subscribe, share your thoughts in the comments.